Do you want to learn how to perform 2D navigation with a drone? Then stay with me, this video is for you. Hello Ross developers and welcome to the Ross questions and answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross navigation, Ross with drones, Ross for autonomous cars, everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning in just 10 minutes of video. Today we are going to continue with the series we started last week, which was, if you remember, this one, the 2D drone navigation. We did a uh, first part, which was mapping last week. So today we are going to continue with localization. Also, I want to comment that we got a, a feedback from a user, from Kashif Nuri, who said, here you have simply used World Frame as a domain resource, uh, which Gatebo is publishing, but in the real world, we have to publish it by, by ourselves. Considering its implementation on a real drone, then what can we use to get the geometry data? And this is a very good question, so we are going to create a video explaining this, how to get the odometry. Uh, probably in the next video, in part 3, we are going to explain this, so stay tuned. But for now we are going to, to work on the localization, so let's go to RDS. And here we are going to open our ROSJET, which was drawn to the navigation the one we were working on last week. So I hope you all have created a map because you will need it for this for this video for localization. In my case, let me open a shell, let me open an IDE as well. I have created a map, a very small map of a couple of rooms. Uh, I don't need more really for for explanation purposes, but well, you can have your map as you want. Let me show you here in the Quadrature Navigation package. I have added this maps folder with my maps, which I have named Quad Map. Then, well, all we have to do in the in the video of today is to create the localization launch. So that's what we are going to do. Let's go to the talks about navigation package as we did in the previous video. And here we are going to copy, let me copy AMCL demo to launch, there we are. And also I'm going to copy the AMCL launch XML there we are. Okay, so now I should have these two new launch files the AMCL demo and the AMCL launch. So here I'm going to create only one. As you can see here we have uh, the AMCL demo. Basically it's launching the AMCL launch file here as you can see. So let's rename this one. We are going to use this one. I'm going to name it as Quadrotor Localization, for instance, Quadrotor Localization dot launch. There we are. Okay, Quadrotor Localization, and then here I will need to add one thing, which is the start of the map server, which I have here. So let's copy this and add it here to our launch file because okay there we are so basically as you can see now we are launching the map server which will load the map we created in the previous video here and uh, all the rest of the launch file is for starting the AMCL node which is the one that will perform localization yeah with setting all the parameters etc then obviously here we need to load our map file so let's change this to load our map file which is in the quadrotor navigation package slash maps slash quad map dot yalm there we are 
then now we can remove this one, we can delete it so that we have only the quadrator localization and the quadrator mapping. Okay, excellent. So let's see how this performs directly. So for now, I'm, for that, I'm going to start the simulation with the camera launch. Then I will also need RV, so I'm going to start an RV's uh, application here. Ross run, RV's, RV's, there we are. I'm going to open a graphical tools in order to visualize properly RVs. So let me close this. There we are. Excellent. So now here I had a configuration file I created in the last video, I think. So I'm going to use that one. Mm. It should be here in Quadrator Navigation, RVs, Mapping, yeah, there we have it. So let's load this one. And obviously now I have many errors here because I haven't launched my localization node. So that's what I'm going to do right now. My simulation is already loaded. So let me open another shell here. And... Yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is to take off the drone, to have it already prepared. So, Rust Topic. Take off Topic. There we are. Our drone is correctly taking off. And uh, now I will directly start my localization uh, launch file. So, Ross Launch, Quadrotor uh, Navigation. Quadrotor localization dot launch, and now everything in my RVs should uh, fix automatically. My map should appear here. There we have it. Excellent. So this is the map I have created. As you can see, it's very simple. It's from this room and this one here. Okay. <clears throat> oh yeah. <laughs> There are some errors. Can you see why these errors are happening? This is very, very important. It, it's actually good that this has happened now. So, if you remember from the previous video, we, need, uh, we needed to do some remaps here into the topic. For instance, the scan topic and the odometry frame. And we haven't done this to the localization launch file and we need to do it. So let's do this. We need to fix the scan topic here. It's not Kobuki laser scan, it's only scan. So let's fix this. And finally, the ohm frame, it's world. It's not odom in our case, in this case. Yeah, it's world, the ohm frame. So yeah, now we, ha we have fi fixed our topics and our frames. So let's start this again. And now it should everything work fine. Let's see. Okay, and there we have it. Now everything is fine. We don't have any error here. We have our map loaded with the two rooms, and yeah. So now, to in order to visualize localization, we will need to add here a pose array display. So let's do that pose array, and we will need to set the topic, which is particle cloud. There we have it. Okay, and as you can see here, we have all the particles from the localization, all the guesses. And now, uh, as you may already know from, look, if you have worked previously with localization, what we have to do is to move, start moving the drone in order to get more laser data. And the more laser data, the more data we get from the sensor, the better the localization will be. So all these guesses, which now are very random, will uh, stretch and we will will start to be much more precise. So let's do that. Ross launch. I'm going to move it with the Tata Botiliop. Okay, there we are. So let's start the keyboard teleoperation. 
And uh, well, basically now I'm just going to start moving a little bit the uh, drone around the room in order to start getting more inputs to the uh, from the laser uh, the laser sensor in this case. And this will uh, make my localization improve. You will see that the the area that the particles are covering right now, it will get much uh, smaller, which means that the localization is much better and it's improving. Yeah, so let's uh, move a little bit around here. Okay, more or less. And now, if we come here, as you can see now the localization, uh, the particles are is it's uh, much smaller it's much more precise and this is uh, telling uh, where the, my drone is uh, currently placed the, so the pose of the, the localization of my drone and as you can see uh, this is working fine because as I'm moving the drone my localization is improving a lot yeah? do you remember at the beginning that we have here all the particles dispersed and now this is much more precise so yeah this is working properly as expected and yeah this will be all for the video of today i hope you liked it you've enjoyed it uh, if so please give us a thumbs up remember to subscribe to our channel we are publishing very nice videos almost every day so stay tuned and yeah please either you like the video or not uh, leave your comments feedback anything in the comments area uh, here we have had some nice comments and we have uh, had also this very interesting feedback which as you can see we are going to use it in order to create a new video explaining this so anything you want uh, to, to tell us leave it here in the comments area and we will check it for sure so yes see you next week in the next video goodbye